Good evening, everyone. My name is Brian Zhao, and I will be graduating from the Dalton School this Thursday. <laughs> June 20th, 2014 was without a doubt the best day of my life thus far. Here's the story. Ever since my freshman year at Dalton, I've had the great honor of working at a pharmacology lab in Wild Cornell Medical College doing research on Alzheimer's, one of the most devastating diseases of our time, and one that has affected my grandparents. Months before, much to my surprise, I had been named a regional finalist in the nation's premier science competition, the Siemens Prize. The award was for my work on the amyloid beta molecule, a contributing factor to Alzheimer's. Even better, my mentor at the lab had encouraged me, a 17-year-old, to apply for a patent. The hands-on approach to science I acquired in PrEP's preparatory component had sparked a deep interest in research and motivated me to explore opportunities in a laboratory setting even beyond Dalton's incredible offerings. I hope to continue my research as an undergrad at Brown University in its BAMD program. which guarantees acceptance to their medical school. A huge relief for me. <laughs> now, back to last June. I was in a computer at home in Queens, just after breakfast, flipping between Facebook and my favorite food blog, when an unexpected email popped up from my mentor at the lab. Incredibly, a pharmaceutical company had acquired my patent application. The company actually thought that my findings could help combat this terrible disease. Never did I think that my work would be recognized in such a way. It was a surreal feeling, especially for a high school student. But that's not why June 20th was the best day of my life. Later that day, I sat in the school auditorium of PS 139 in Queens and watched with pride as Jack, a student I had mentored for four years, walked across the stage to give his graduation speech to his elementary school classmates. When I began working with Jack, he was a recently immigrated second grader who took half an hour to write one coherent sentence. Now he was standing in front of his whole school as the class speaker. After completing PrEP's rigorous preparatory component, I was inspired by PrEP's mission and wanted to share the values I learned with the kids in my diverse neighborhood. Kids whose parents, like mine, were struggling to make ends meet, working as the local restaurant staff, delivery men, and manicurists. I began by tutoring the kids at my local school. I encouraged them to spend time at the local library rather than watching TV. Before long, I was elated to see that most of them would, would use their library cards to take out the maximum number of books allowed. Watching Jack totter to the checkout counter his eyes just barely clearing the pile of books he was carrying, gave me hope that I could influence positive change. It gets even better because this year, Jack was admitted to the fiercely competitive Hunter College High School. <laughs> Being able to help kids from my neighborhood realize their potential has been just as rewarding as my own accomplishments, if not more. It has come full circle, seeing the change I had been able to inspire as a mentor and tutor to Jack was remarkable. Incur it confirmed that I could improve the lives of other students, just as PrEP has done with me and my fellow graduates. Thank you.